गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो दो हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो शेयर माई वीडियोज सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद अनदर मेथड ऑफ स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर विच इज स्लिप पावर रिकवरी मेथड ओके सो इन दिस मेथड देर आर टू स्कीम स्टार्टिक शर्बियस ड्राइव एंड स्टार्टिक क्रामर ड्राइव इन द स्टार्टिक शर्बियस ड्राइव इट इज यूज टू स्पीड कं डू द स्पीड कंट्रोल बिलो द सिंक्रोन स्पीड सो दिस इज द आउटपुट दिस इज द इक्वल इन सर्किट ऑफ द इंडक्शन मोटर शोन ओवर यर सो वी नो पी एम इज इक्वल्स टू पी जी माइनस पी आर ओके वी नो पी एम इज इक्वल्स टू पी जी माइनस पी आर ओके सो पी आर इज द एब्जॉर्ब पावर इट इज एब्जॉर्ब पावर एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट वेन माई स्पीड इज वेरी मच लो माई स्लिप इज हाई बिकॉज स्लिप इज गिवन बाई एन एस माइनस एन आर अपॉन एन एस तो स्लिप विल बी वेरी मच हाई एंड स्लिप बिकॉज माई आउट सेकेंडरी ई एम एफ बिकॉज माई सेकेंडरी ई एम एफ इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट स्लिप इट इज बींग इट इज डिपेंडेड डिपेंडेड अपॉन द स्लिप सो माई रोटो कॉपर लॉसेज विल बी वेरी मच हाई एंड वॉट एवर विल बी द पावर दैट मैक्सिमम ऑफ द पावर विल बी वेस्टेड इन द रोटो कॉपर लॉसेज सो इन ऑर्डर टू यूटिलाइज दैट पावर दैट पावर शुड बी यूटिलाइज एंड एब्जॉर्ब इन ऑर्डर टू गेट यूटिलाइज सो दैट पावर इज एब्जॉर्ब थ्रू दिस स्कीम थ्रू द स्टैटिक शर्बियस ड्राइव स्कीम एंड बींग फेड अगेन टू द बैक टू द ए सी सप्लाई वेर इट इज बींग यूटिलाइज okay so so now the how we will be seeing how the this drive uh, comes into action okay so let us see first the circuit of this drive okay so uh, if pr is equal to 0 my motor is equal to pg it is running at natural speed so no worries over there but when my pr is very very much greater value of pr is very much greater my pm is very much small so it is running at synchronous speed below the synchronous speed very 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 much below the synchronous speed so at that time my motor will not work properly actually and if my pr is very very much less my pm is equals to pg and uh, it is positive my pm is positive in that case and then my motor is running at very very much high speed than the synchronous speed very 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 much high speed so both the factors are not actually good for my motor operation so the speed should be controlled so in this in the slip power recovery method there are two drive methods the first is the static crammer drive and the second is the static shurbius drive so in the static shurbius drive we can control the speed below the synchronous speed but in the static crammer drive we cannot con uh, control below speed it is the it is a system used to do speed control above the synchronous speed okay so uh, let us start with the static shurbius drive here the circuit is being shown over here this is this is over here Uh, shown an induction motor the output from the rotor is fed to the three phase converter it is fed to the three phase converter over here the converter is consisting of the six diodes that's why it is a three phase converter okay then this converter is connected with the inductor and this inductor is indeed connected with the thyristor it is indeed connected with the thyrist uh, so, sorry inverter the inverter is con uh, consisting of six thyristor circuit okay so converter is a device which converts the ac voltage to dc okay and the inverter is a device which converts the dc back to ac so whatever the ac is coming over here from the induction motor output that power which was uh, which was wasted in the rotor copper losses is given to this converter over here this converter will convert this ac power to dc power okay then this dc will be fed to the inverter over here which is placed over here it is also three phase inverter because it is also having six thyristors over here okay so this inverter what it will do it will convert my dc to again back to ac and that ac is fed back to the transformer it is fed back to the transformer and the transformer uh, power is fed back to the supply again and when it is fed back to the supply the 
it can be utilized again for motor operation okay so in this manner whatever power was being wasted in the rotor copper losses is utilized now now let us go to the detail how it is utilized so vd1 is the output voltage of the converter we know the output voltage of the converter is given by it is given by vd1 is equals to 3 root 3 v upon pi okay but since the here the input v is coming from the from the motor motor output is coming to uh, is becoming the input for the converter so the output of the motor is depending uh, the secondary output of the motor is depending upon the slip so we need to multiply your slip and also it is divided by n okay and also since this uh, side is AC side. Whenever we talk about AC, we need to multiply with the RMS value because it is a we, we take into consideration the RMS values. And whenever we talk about DC, we take into consideration the peak values. Okay, so for this converter, I need to multiply here by root 2 also for making this uh, RMS value over here. So it will become 3 root 6 SV upon pi n. And vd2 vd2 is the input voltage for the inverter it will be equal to 3 root 6 upon pi v upon m cos alpha since it is having a thyristor thyristor needs to be fired so for the fi fire for firing some firing angle should be there so the term cos alpha is being coming and it is divided by m now let us see what is n and m are N and M are the stator to rotor turns of the motor and source side and source side to the converter side turns ratio of the transformer. So this over here it is N. This side uh, the it is dealing with N as the stator to rotor turns ratio of the motor and the source side of the converter. So between this, uh, between this stator to rotor turns, this uh, taking stator to rotor and the converter side, this ratio is given by N. Okay, and what is M? Converter side turns ratio to the transformer. Okay, now converter side turns ratio means this side turns ratio to the transformer. It is taken as M. So here it is M, and here it is taking N. That's why for VD, uh, for VD one, which is my converter output ratio it is depending upon n and vd2 which is my inverter input ratio input uh, uh, voltage it is depending upon m okay so we now we have, now we have understood what n and m actually are okay now at uh, if we consider to be the losses over here to be negligible because inductor is placed over here that will uh, that will remove all the ripple current from here so if we consider the losses to be negligible so we can easily calculate vd1 plus vd2 uh, equal to zero over here so when we solve it we will be getting as uh, we, 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 we will be getting the value of slip to be equal to s is equals to minus S is equals to minus N upon M cos alpha. Okay, we'll be getting here S is equals to minus N upon M cos alpha slip. Alpha is nothing but the firing angle to which the inverter should be fired. Okay, now the limit, uh, limit of the cos alpha uh, firing angle is over here 165 degrees now this expression have got so many uh, people were just doing hit and trial method and taking the value of alpha and following the value of slip what is actually the slip depending upon so the alpha came out to be controlling from 90 to 165 degrees and it limited to 165 degrees and so slip can be varied from 0 to 0 0.966 k now what actually k is k is nothing but equal to n by m ratio this is given by k 
okay this is given by k so my slip can be varied from this drive by 0 to 0 0.966 k 966 k where k is equal to n by m okay where k is equal to n by m okay so when my alpha when my alpha is uh, varied and my alpha is set means i can vary the firing angle so in such a manner if we will be giving the firing angle then we can control our slip when my slip will be controlled because slip was very much high and my speed was very much low nr was very much low and because i have to control my speed by slip power recovery so my slip will be uh, slip uh, my slip will be controlled by when my alpha will be controlled so as i give the value of my alpha firing angle my slip will be controlled when my slip will be controlled my rotor speed will be controlled and this is all about the static sherbius drive okay actually this is all about now here a transformer is given why this transformer is given this transformer is given here to match up the ratios of vd1 and vt2 vd1 and vd2 so at the lowest speed at the lowest speed my slip will be maximum at lowest speed at lowest speed what will happen is that vd1 will be equal to vs max upon n okay it will be v vd1 will be equal to will be equal to s max upon because vd1 was equal to 3 root 6 sv upon pi n so vd1 will be uh, at the lowest speed when my speed is very very much low that will be equal to vs max upon n okay now alpha is restricted greater than uh, greater than 165 degrees this scheme will not work actually so alpha is restricted to 165 degrees so if we put the value of this v upon v upon m cos 165 plus vs max upon n if we solve this so we will be getting from here actually the value of m will be deciding the firing angle m will be deciding the firing angle so m can be given by m can be given by minus n upon s max minus n upon x max 0 0.966 okay so m is the deciding factor of actually the cos alpha it is the deciding factor for the firing angle of the inverter and because of that firing angle only my slip is being changed and when my slip is being changed my rotor speed is being changed and my rotor speed can be only uh, only controlled by this firing angle which is being uh, given in the static Sherbius drive. Okay, so this was all about the static Sherbius drive. The feature of this drive is that it is having high efficiency and low cost. And the application is that it is used for medium and high power fan and pump drives. Okay, but, but uh, uh, this uh, drive was having poor fa power factor also. But when we control the value of M, when we control the value of alpha, when we control the value of s in such a manner that my speed is controlled then the power factor also actually increases okay so this was all about the static sherbus drive let us again recall it what actually it is happening over here so the converter is being placed over here converter is, is converting the uh, ac value to dc value so the output dc value is given by 3 root 6 sv upon pi n because S V N because it is uh, multiplied by S Y because uh, the output is coming from the rotor side of the motor and the rotor side of the motor is depending upon the slip because rotor induced EMF is depending upon the slip so it so we need to multiply it with by S okay and V D two is given by three root six upon pi V upon M cos alpha cos alpha why because uh, the inverter is uh, inverter here shown is with the 
consisting of the thyristors and thyristors need a firing angle so ultimately we are uh, we are uh, we are dealing with the firing angle and we are controlling that firing angle with the help of the value of m m upon if we put m is equals to minus n upon s max 0.966 so if we put the maximum value is limited over here so m value if we control it so we can control the alpha firing angle from 90 to 165 degrees and the limit a higher limit of this drive is 165 degrees till 165 degrees uh, we are we can control it so at lower lowest speed vd1 will be equal to vs max upon n so v upon m cos 165 is the maximum limit we need to put over here and when we solve it we will getting the value of m okay so when we control m we control alpha alpha is the firing angle when we control firing angle we can we can control the slip in the range 0 to 0 0.966 k when we control the slip we control the we control the nr rotor speed and the rotor speed should not be very very much less because if it, it will be less s will be high and when s will be high my rotor copper losses will be high when my rotor copper losses will be high my all the power will be wasted in the co uh, copper losses itself so in order to uh, utilize that power some energy should be uh, give absorbed again and given back to the stator okay so this was all about static service drive in the next session we will be dealing with the static crammer drive so please subscribe my channel please share my videos and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you